everybody doing? I just thought I would pop on and filmed a very quick video on my Hobonichi Weeks. This is my daily journal. And if you've watched my previous videos before, you'll know I actually started this in the spring. And I have tried many different planners um, during 2024 uh, to do some form of journaling. I am not much of a journaling person, but it's something that I really wanted to try because I did purchase a five-year journal um, from Hobonichi last year. Or was it the year before? I think it was the year before, or it could be last year. I think it could, it could be 2022. That's, I was so good at it for two weeks and then I kind of lost track. But then I went back and I really enjoyed looking back at certain dates the previous year, what had happened, et cetera, et cetera. But I just couldn't upkeep it with it. It was just too much work. So in spring, I decided to do a daily journal in my weeks because I still, as I've mentioned earlier, I absolutely love the weeks. So I, um, I could planner hop all I want when it comes to my daily planning. But I would love to keep this at the end of the year and then maybe next year have another one of these. Anyway, so I do have this, as I mentioned earlier, it is a spring start. I have this weird cat and I did tuck in a few things up front that I wanted to keep, but not sure how I'm going to use it. So there is this really cute photo of Enzo, which is a planner friend, Mary, um, her son that I actually met at a baby shower I just thought it was super cute because the joke is that I don't really love kids <laughs> so anytime they see me carrying a baby it's like oh my god look at her we have to take a photo but I really do love this picture so I popped that in there because it just did not fit into this area um, that week because I had already I had a lot of things to write that week I kept this which is from alt summit so I, all these little pieces that didn't fit, fit into the journal during the week that it had happened, I will probably tuck it somewhere in the back and probably write a note. So I have some stickers, obviously. This is from um, Abby Sai. It's from her Patreon. This was actually from um, a sticker that I got. It kind of it got, I got from a Etsy purchase and I purchased it through from getting one of these um, evil eye stickers. And there's nothing much in the front. Here I just kind of tuck in these little cute stuff. So this is actually from Cat Do. And I just basically wrote Year of the Dragon. I am the Year of the Tiger, basically my fortune. Um, and this was from Sarika Studio, and I just thought this is so cute. So I wanted to keep that. And this again was from Cat Do, and this is pretty much how I feel sometimes. I didn't really use this page much. I could probably post um, pictures later on in the year. I didn't do much here. I started off with um, these rings. I need to finish them, and I'll show you how I actually um, can catch up on putting these ring stickers if you're not sure if you're not aware i am not an exercise person so getting a move ring sticker on my monthly is like a reward it's like getting a gold star in your exam paper started february i think this was back planned a little bit from the previous week but because that previous week was not here i kind of wrote it and it's all over the place. I am really enjoying this. I actually have some photos. Um, there's some pictures here too. I'm sorry, some of these people here were cut off. I have been printing my pictures on the Canon selfie. I kind of love it, but I also don't like it. This is how it comes out. I actually have to cut it down for it to fit. Otherwise you could only fit two photos. I cut this one down too. Um, that was also from printed from a Canon selfie. What I may need to do is actually 
size them and cut them up just put them um into png and then print them out uh on sticker paper and then i'll just manually cut them i could load them on the silhouette but it's just too much work uh so i have these weeks um filled out i can write a little bit of everything um things that we did this was um alt summit week as you can tell i could not fit that in here somewhere so i'll have to place place it elsewhere and then <laughs> i love this stamp it says rant so i was just basically ranting because i had a lot to rant that day um and takeaway moments highlights um, if there is days that I actually didn't journal or there's nothing specific on that day, I would just put a washi tape over it. Um, these were just some days that honestly nothing had happened. I think I just came back from Alt Summit and Thursday was really packing orders. So this was at the gifting suite. I have been pretty consistent with this. I will admit, I really love this. Um, and I would write anything from things I want to remember, conversation I had with my mom, or things that I've eaten that is nostalgia, which is this. This is wonton noodle. is something that I am super nostalgic this was a photo that I took. It was actually from Stephanie. She actually posted this on Instagram. I was stupid enough and not take a photo of our spread. So I took that um, off her Instagram and just posted it to remember that we actually went um, Cafe Journal in Santa Monica that day, which I thought was super fun. This was a stamp from my Patreon from Abby Sai. She sends out mail, I want to say every month. Um, and I just keep the stamps that just reminded me of the days where I used to be a stamp collector and I would actually soak this and then peel off the stamp from the back and I would have a stamp album. I used to collect stamps and coins. I sound like such a nerd, don't, don't I? Anyway, so I have that. And then there's baby shower that week, which I thought was a great photo. Um, it was Rowena's baby shower. She's having a boy, clearly. And this came in. I don't know if I love it, but it came in. It's a stamp for one of my um, collabs, um, little things. This was a very exciting thing. Um, for me, it was because I took a photo of this. Oh, no, actually, this photo was taken off Instagram. I did a screenshot because... Um, Rachel from Toronto, she has a huge following on um, Instagram and she actually purchased my Dana ate oatmeal collaboration and she posted it on Instagram. So I took a screenshot of it. Um, it may not seem like a lot, but for a very, very small business, it is amazing. It is amazing to see your work um, your business being appreciated by somebody with such a huge platform. So I wanted to remember that. And of course, little stickers. These are all from different shops. So I don't always just use stuff from my shop. Like these are La Dolce Vita's. Love them. Um, I don't carry them in my shop, but I would buy them from either Emily Stationery or Pinky Elephant. Um, this, I believe I bought this off emma stationery and it's a pet tape that i just cut around there's a picture of lucy she's been feeling a little bit better she was not feeling well and that's pretty much it and this was my cat do stamp that just had arrived that's another collaboration so that this is what's keeping me happy um so i haven't done much this week but I will actually write this week down and find some pictures that I want to um, post here but I did have some pictures that I actually want to post it has nothing to do with me but it has everything to do with my mom and my sister because they went on a trip and I may just post this here and my mom being a goofy goof um, so I have to cut this down Maybe not. I will just take up this whole page because 
I don't think I have much to write this week. She's going to hate it, the fact that I put her on YouTube. Anyway, and then the back. Um, you guys know that I am obsessed with Turkish series, and I love how people journal about their books or movies that they watch. So I don't really have much time to sit down and watch movies, and I've honestly have lost a lot of interest in movies. So I started watching Turkish series, and this is something that I had wrote about. They are on hiatus. I feel so unproductive with the series being on hiatus because I li I am so productive with this playing in the background. I'll watch it two or three times per ep each episode because I have to read and be productive. And I write about each episode. So I'm going backwards because 19 was the season finale. I wrote backwards and only because I started this um, after the fact. So my favorite favorite, they coming back, I believe in September. I can't wait um, because that season finale left me hanging. They left a few pages for season two this one i have lost interest i think i mentioned but i'm kind of watching it now because i have nothing else to watch um and then this one i think i'm going to start all over again so i can actually write more i've actually watched up to six episodes and i really like this actor and he was also in one on netflix called black money love i was watching that for a while but because it is a older series like 2016 i just didn't pay much attention to it i wasn't in love with it and plus it was like hundreds of episodes like hundreds that i've gotten to the point where i just fast forward it um it, but i wanted to watch this because i think this one has only like 30 ish which is not bad this was really good i think this has 34 or 35 episodes i need to do my little debrief on this but these are the main characters she's starting to really annoy me um and then at the back i have decided to print this may be a very funny story for some of you guys i did not know on my iphone that you can actually go back to each month and see how to your fitness rings to see the dates that you actually exercise or moved or closed like or closed all your rings i did not know that i was just kind of clearly it's an app that i do not open very often or did not open in my past life um and i did open it recently because i wanted to go back and track all this and i really really like this so what i did was that i screenshot each month i you know cropped it on my phone and then i exported it out to my desktop and then i just put it on like a word document and i just printed it on regular sticker paper and i just cut it it's square so i just cut it um so i didn't need to pull out my silhouette or anything like that um and i really like that because this actually shows me all my rings um that i have closed that i have um at first, when I started, I was not big on closing rings. I was very much on, I need to accomplish 35 minutes of exercise. So I think it really started in March. You can see all my exercise rings here pretty much were closed with an exception of one or two days. And then when I started getting that notification that I had closed all rings, I was like, oh, this is really good. So April was really good match was i was starting to slack off a little in may so i gotta pick it up back up in june so i just thought those was really good but i can i have space here where i can kind of debrief myself and that's pretty much what i did and that's what i plan on so i actually have space so it's two may june july august september october november december so i have up to here and then i have these empty pages to play with so I had originally decided to put some photos in the back that I wanted to um, keep. I was going to keep these photos um, like my mom and my sister back here. But I may move this back here and then just write a blurb. So the extra photos that is meaningful to me 
but there's no space in that weekly spot. So I love this. I have been debating whether I am going to keep this system in um, 2025, although my palms are itching to set up a standard TN, but I just know that standard TN is a little too um, free thinking for me because I like dates. Um, and if it is not dated, chances of me using it is very slim and keeping up with it but i could try hit start now so anyway i just thought i would do a quick update love this and i also hold this with one of these elastic i call it the spanx for my hobonichi i believe they make it for a5 a6 and the weeks and it just kind of holds it together especially when your weeks gets a little chunky and you just want it to be put together. This doesn't have a cover. I didn't put this in a cover. I like it as is because then it's super easy. I can grab it and take it with me wherever I want. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So love it. And let me know in the comments below if I should use a standard TN because I really am itching to use a standard TN because I have these beautiful covers and I don't know whether it's the function that I like or the fact that I have these beautiful covers and I really, really want to use it. Let me show you what I actually did do um, with one of my standard TN covers. It's nothing extraordinary for some people, but for me, pulling this back, pulling this out was, um, different because I have never set up a standard TN before and I pulled out the black because I went ahead and put one of these brass um I don't know plates from Traveler's Company and you could actually put a date I've seen people put dates on here um I don't know what to do with that and I got this charm from BK which is the fragile charm and the um call this thing patch uh so that is why i am itching to set up a tn and probably do my journal and if i did not like um i have I just don't love the Traveler's Company dated inserts very much. I don't like that paper. This is the paper test. And I personally love this insert, but this is great for, um, this is great for actual planning. To me, this is great for actual planning. I have um, this insert here. This is just, um, this came with the TN, I believe. And this is just my watchy swatches washi swatches yes, that's what i said and then there's this grid from um paper test as well her notebooks i love her notebooks and maybe i will do this i started with this and tried to collage and realized collaging is not for me but maybe i can do this for 2025 so i have this since this is already out and use this could be my guinea pig and see how i like it um i might have to print out some stuff just to see if i actually like doing that then i may have to ditch this or this could be my messy journaling i don't know honestly i i don't know so and that's pretty much it and this is why i'm itching to set this up because i love this cover and this cover just makes me want to journal and a TN. So anyway, enough ranting, but thank you so much. And I will see you next week.